Nice to see you again Jane. Likewise Dick. Are you going to the town board meeting tomorrow night? No. Is there some reason I should go? Yes. They are going to talk about wind development possibly coming to our community. Oh right. Maybe I should go to support it. Why would you do that? Well, wind energy is free, clean, and green. Isn't it? No. That's just marketing baloney. You don't believe everything you hear, do you? No. But isn't wind energy free? No. Of course the wind itself is free, just like coal in the ground is free too. The expense is in converting it to electricity. Converting wind energy to useful electricity is more expensive than any of our conventional sources of power. Really? Who says that? Our government, for example, the EIA. How much more expensive are we talking about? Well, let's look at Denmark. That country has the highest concentration of wind turbines in the world. Yes. I've heard that wind has been a great success there. It depends on what you call a success. In the US the average residential cost of electricity is 10 cents a kilowatt hour. In Denmark it is about 35 cents. Would you call that a success? Certainly not. Okay, but wind is clean and green. Isn't it? No. Again the wind itself is clean and green, but the process of converting it to electricity is not. What do you mean? For example there are some 4,000 pounds of rare earth elements in every wind turbine. The mining of these was so environmentally destructive that all US mines were closed down. Then where do we get these rare earth element from? Over 95% of these now come from China. The environmental destruction wasn't stopped, it just moved into another country. Wow, I didn't know any of this. Of course not. You have been inundated with propaganda about renewable energy being a great thing. Who is behind that? Corporations that stand to make huge profits, organizations that are promoting political agendas, and politicians who are catering to the green constituency. None of them are really interested in what is best for our environment, or taxpayers, or utility ratepayers. So what's the solution? We need to have our energy policies determined by science not by lobbyists. What do you mean determined by science? When proponents put forward an idea, like wind power, our government representatives should say, thanks, but we need real proof that your product does what you say it will do. You mean to tell me that there is no independent scientific proof that wind energy is a cost-beneficial source of electricity? Exactly. None. Nada. Zip. Well, won't it bring jobs to the community? Wait a minute. Aren't you changing the subjects? I thought we were talking about whether wind energy was a reliable, cost-effective, environmentally friendly source of electricity. You're right, we were. It seems like there isn't scientific evidence of any of those things. But won't it bring jobs to the community? Compared to what? Should taxpayers and ratepayers pay to have some people to dig ditches and others to fill them in? No, that would be pretty stupid. If our community is going to consider an industrial power plant, then we should thoroughly evaluate all other possible power sources, not just wind power. What would happen if we did? Compared to other types of power, for instance geothermal, gas, or nuclear, wind energy provides us with fewer jobs than they would. Okay, but won't it bring economic development to our community? Compared to what? Again, if we compared wind energy to an equivalent amount of conventional power, the economic benefits of wind energy would be much less. That's disappointing. What about it reducing CO2? Compared to what? You should know that there is no such thing as wind energy by itself. Despite the marketing manure frequently spread out, a wind project will not be able to power a single home 24-7-365. To function at all, it needs to be paired with a fast-acting, and inefficient, conventional source, which usually is gas. What does that mean? Once again if we compared the CO2 saved from wind energy plus gas, to an equivalent amount of hydro, geothermal, or nuclear power, the CO2 saved from wind would be a lot less. I didn't realize that. Of course not, they don't want you to know this. If people knew the truth about wind, they wouldn't support it. Well don't they pay a lot of taxes? 
compared to what? I should have known that was coming. Wind energy companies are all about maximizing their profit at the expense of the public. They won't build a project here unless we give them a huge tax break. So compared to businesses of comparable investment, they pay very little taxes. So what benefits are there for this wind project being in our community? The answer is that this will be high cost with low benefits. Don't some farmers make some money off turbine leases? Yes, a few people do profit from this travesty, but the leases they sign are some of the most restrictive contracts in the country. Your dad did tell you that there is no free lunch, right? Yes he did, God rest his soul. How do you know all this stuff, anyway? I went on the internet and studied energy presentation, dot, info. I also checked out dozens of references there, from independent scientists like those found on the wind, power, facts, dot, info site. Good for you, you're thorough. Yes I am, because this is a big deal. You should know that there are several other problems with wind energy that we haven't talked about. These are explained at those sites. Okay, you've got me interested, and I'll go to those sites myself. Thanks. So, are you going to the town board meeting tomorrow night? Yes, I will be there. I will insist that we not go down this path until there is a comprehensive objective independent scientific assessment of this business. Excellent. I'll see you there. Great, maybe we can go out for a drink afterwards? Thanks, but in the words of Winston Churchill, although prepared for martyrdom, I prefer that it be delayed. Bye.